Good evening. Bear with me. I uh, have some prepared remarks. And normally, I don't need prepared remarks, but tonight, uh, comments from me are, are kind of heavy and I understand the court, uh, ladies and gentlemen. <clears throat> uh, for almost a year. Say the name for the record, please. Thank you. Ben, ben Williams, 5307. Elsie Lane, Naples, New Jersey. Thank you. Thank you. <clears throat> For almost a year, members of this community have been persistent in our efforts to constructively engage our government as a way of demonstrating our commitment to act as responsible citizens. I have been here in this well uh, on a number of occasions and have spoken to the board with the intent of trying to find a way to constructively engage you and for you to provide opportunities uh, for us to participate uh, in uh, the process of government. In spite of the resistance to our efforts, uh, most of us have been and have made a commitment uh, to continue uh, to stay with you and stand with our governing body because we truly feel that in order for our governing body to be all that we want it to be, that we have an obligation as, sister, as, as citizens to help in ways that we can. <clears throat> in spite of that being a struggle and uh, uh, the ridicule and sometimes uh, uh, disrespect uh, that's been directed uh, our way, we've stayed the course and along the way, I'm saddened to say that <clears throat> the landscape for us has suffered from considerable amount of litter as a result of misfeasance, ethical breaches, willful ignorance, and disenfranchisement. So much so like other governing bodies uh, throughout the country. <clears throat> we believe that our governing body has lost the ethical compass that's necessary for it to stay on track and avoid being trapped in the swamp, filled with public pr frustration, declining confidence, and a depleted spirit that leaves a growing number of our neighbors to suffer in silence and settle for much less than the best. They've simply given up. They're unwilling to try anymore and have retired to the sidelines and simply watch what our leadership imposes on them. By any stretch of our imagination, the swamp in which we find ourselves is unacceptable. Our government has been a bright light in local, state, and national media as a place where private deals with private interests are cut in shadows uh, rather than sight. We've lost our way and very frankly, we are disappointed. My painful task is to stand in this well tonight and to say that this board needs to demonstrate efforts to try and fix, if you will, repair that situation. And it's our view that that can only be done by our chairman voluntarily separating himself uh, from our governing body. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Next speaker.